What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and to more of the latest on pro wrestling as always uh, keeping you guys up to date. Coming up we're discussing the latest news regarding WWE's plans for the Thunderdome and bringing back live fans, multiple rumors slash spoilers regarding Survivor Series this upcoming weekend, a major return being confirmed, what exactly is next to the now new WWE Champion Drew McIntyre, and interesting reports regarding Roman Reigns and his current WWE Universal Championship title reign and more of the latest news so make sure to hit an elbow drop on the like button if you go on to enjoy this anyways and let's dive into it and we got some interesting reports regarding WWE's plans for the Thunderdome as we discussed before they are set to be out of the Amway Center where the current Thunderdome is at by December 5th and according to WrestleVotes they indicated the following newest plan for WWE now is to have the Thunderdome shows at Tropicana Field in Tampa starting in mid-December through WrestleMania season. Fans at the Royal Rumble is still possible as that is something that Vince McMahon really wants. They went on to indicate that WWE is hoping to start traditional live arena shows with fans the night after WrestleMania. And we have been discussing about all of this for quite a while now. The fact that WWE WWE, more specifically Vince McMahon, really wants to have a live audience in the arena during the shows. We thought that this would be a thing by now, but as we know, things are even getting more worse now with more people testing positive, causing WWE to simply continue running the shows in the Thunderdome and trying to find new solution all the way up to WrestleMania. As for the Royal Rumble, we will really see how WWE is gonna manage to pull off some audience during that show. If they do happen to run in a stadium then they could definitely do a combination of virtual fans and actual live audience as long as everything is spread out and they follow the rules that they need to follow and live audience is great but it obviously it's not so good if it's putting everyone else at risk especially the wrestlers who are going to be the one out there the most exposed moving into some other news and we are discussing the latest regarding survivor series and some very interesting reports of what could be going down on a couple of matches for the event. First off, we're discussing Sami Zayn versus Bobby Lashley, Intercontinental Champion versus United States Champion. This will be a non-title match, of course, but it is not expected to be an even match, according to the Wrestling Observer Radio. They've also indicated that the United States Champion is expected to squash the SmackDown Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, indicating that even though Sami Zayn is much better than Bobby Lashley, they're gonna work it as a squash match i don't necessarily think that this will be the best idea obviously yes bobby lashley has gotten a lot of momentum as of late with the hurt business and you gotta make him look dominant and even if this match doesn't last that long i better see some offense from Sami Zayn, or i'm gonna be pissed off i enjoy a good back and forth match so don't make Sami Zayn look like a complete garbage because he is still one of your current champions sticking with survivor series we know that the undertaker is gonna be there in some capacity cutting a promo or quote-unquote just as celebrating the 30 years of him in the WWE and giving us his quote-unquote farewell speech and there's said to be a couple of names there to celebrate with The Undertaker one of those has been revealed and you can more or less say it's a bit of a spoiler according to PW Insider Kurt Angle will be at Survivor Series at this weekend it is unclear what he will be doing but it is confirmed that he will be in the Thunderdome for the event. It has been made clear already that WWE is also bringing back several people from The Undertaker's past, including Kane and even members of his BSK group. So we might be able to see Rikishi, The Godfather, and more significant name that has been a synonymous with The Undertaker during his career. Sticking with Survivor Series, a major match that we are going to be getting is the WWE Champion versus the Universal champion Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns. Now one of the big questions is what exactly is next after this weekend for Drew McIntyre? 
And during the wrestling observer radio, it was explained that Drew McIntyre needs opponent, and WWE has more or less been building towards that next opponent. That being Sheamus. Sheamus presented Drew McIntyre with a chest full of family heirlooms on Raw this week, and has been a big motivator for Drew McIntyre over the last couple of weeks. All of this was said to be a device as to start a feud between the two old friends. Cause as we know, when it comes to the WWE, Anytime someone is your close personal friend, it means that they're about to turn on you. Not to mention the fact that just four weeks ago, Sheamus was a heel, and all of a sudden, for two to three weeks, WWE has been booking him as a babyface just so that he could get closer to Drew McIntyre in those backstage segments, so that when he does turn on his quote unquote best friend and old friend, it is even more significant. So Sheamus is expected to go back being a heel and turn on. Drew McIntyre now that he already got the title. All of this is even gonna be more significant because Drew McIntyre just got a brand new entrance because of Sheamus, him giving him all of that family stuff and even giving him a sword, which a fun fact by the way, apparently that sword belongs to Vince McMahon. WWE just happened to need a sword for Drew McIntyre new entrance and Vince McMahon apparently was like, hey, I have a sword that was gifted to him by Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. So he decided to pass that gift on and now Drew McIntyre is using it. Good guy Vince McMahon, right? As we are on the topic of Survivor Series and Drew McIntyre, he is of course facing Roman Reigns this weekend and what will more than likely be the main event of the show. And as we head into that event, there's some interesting reports indicating how Roman Reigns was not intended to have a long title run as Universal Champion. New reports indicate how WWE has already changed direction many times in 2020, more specifically even related to Roman Reigns. According to the Wrestling Observer Radio, Roman Reigns was not originally supposed to hold the Universal title for very long. They indicated that, believe it or not, Roman with a long title run was not the idea. Even though it seems so obvious, it was not the idea. I don't know who the guy who was supposed to be the champion was supposed to be because they basically devalued everyone else. End quote. That probably has to do with the fact that as soon as Roman Reigns turned heel, they realized that there was no going back. They couldn't stop that momentum. They needed to continue it. If Roman Reigns wasn't supposed to be holding that universal champion for that long, I can see that the opponent to defeat him would have probably been the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Maybe it was gonna be one of those situations where they go back and forth between the Fiend and Roman with that title all the way up to WrestleMania. As we remember, WWE teased the Fiend versus Roman Reigns at the Hell in a Cell pay per view, even weeks before Roman faced off Jay Uso. So we kind of knew that once he was gonna be done with Jay Uso. So the fiend was gonna be up next and that was said to be huge but of course all of a sudden out of nowhere wwe stopped that completely and simply decided to trade the fiend to monday night raw and leave roman on smackdown this is just really an example of just how much things change in the wwe now to the point where roman is probably gonna be taking that universal championship all the way up to wrestlemania until maybe then somebody can defeat him as i mentioned before if WWE cannot get The Rock, then I would really love to see Roman Reigns take on Daniel Bryan because that is the best view that they could give us and make it a heel versus babyface dynamic. They could of course also give us Roman versus Seth Rollins, but with both of them being heel and Vince McMahon not necessarily being the biggest fan of heel versus heel matches, then again, just stick with that Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns because really it will be the biggest thing that they could give us. Anyways, guys. That is all the coverage that I got for you. If you enjoy, find it informative, don't forget to elbow drop it and hit those notifications to continue being up to date. I will catch you on the next one, so stay savage.